Hey guys, it's Leila Klon and uh, today I'll be doing the Selkai and the Gyrai or Gyrai of the Talencephalon, which is also the cerebrum. So, um, the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and it consists of two separated cerebral hemispheres, just general uh, information about the Talencephalon. It's separated by the median longitudinal fissure, so you've got two hemispheres. This is our sign for general, which is separated by the median longitudinal fissure. And it's this fissure that contains the falx cerebri, which is a covering that divides both. It's like, it's like a cut between both the hemispheres, and it's called the falx cerebri. And the corpus callosum is the connecting bond between both the hemispheres, so it connects the hemispheres. I'm going to write the connecting bond would be the corpus callosum. Then we've got uh, three things to know about the cerebrum. The cerebrum has got three poles, so three poles. It's got three surfaces and it's got three borders which are pretty important. So, let's switch our pens. The poles would be the frontal pole, we have the occipital pole, and the temporal pole. So temporal is at the sides, occipital would be the back side, and frontal would be the front side of the brain. Then we have surfaces, we've got the superolateral, the medial, and the inferior. Now the inferior is divided into two, which would be the orbital and the tentorial. Okay, now then we move on to the borders. We have the superomedial, we've got the inferolateral, and then the inferomedial. Now the inferomedial again, like the inferior, is divided into the anterior and the posterior. The anterior containing the medial orbital part and the posterior containing the medial occipital part. Okay? Alright, now we move on to the lobes. So we've got six lobes in the cerebrum. And we have a mnemonic for this bit. So we've got few people offer to implement love all right so let's write our letters down we've got f here p o t i and l so f would be the frontal lobe the parietal lobe the occipital lobe, the temporal lobe, the insula, and the limbic lobe. The insula and the limbic lobe, you cannot visualize them when you look at the surface of the brain because they are deeper in the cerebrum, they are in between both the hemispheres. So you can spot the frontal, I told you, it's the front bit. This is the brain, so that's the front bit. Then we've got the parietal bit, occipital and temporal. Okay, now we move on to the gyri. Now you've got another mnemonic for the gyri. I'm going to name the mention the important gyri. So we've got for four pounds, the orange chocolates. Rose. Okay, so we've got F. Four pounds would be four P's. We've got T, O, C, and R. Okay, so F would be frontalis or frontal, precentral. The second P would be postcentral. 
These are important names of the guy, right? You've got another P which would be parietal. Then oh, there were four P's. I thought, okay, I'll write it here. It's not a problem. We've got para, hippo, campal, or campets. The T would be temporal, temporalis. You've got the occipital temporal. You've got the singuli, or singulum, and you've got the rectus, gyrus, or gyrus. Now I'll show you these in the uh, in a diagram. So this is the superolateral surface of the cerebrum. Uh, the Gyra usually have the names of the lobes and the sulci usually have the names of the gyri. So in the frontal lobe, you can see the frontal gyrus. There is a superior medial and an inferior one and they're divided by the superior and the inferior frontal sulci respectively. Then behind that, you can see the precentral gyrus, which is the motor cortex, and the postcentral gyrus, which is the sensory cortex, uh, divided by the central sulcus. Now, the procentral gyrus is divided from the parietal lobe um, by the postcentral sulcus, and in the parietal zone, you can see there are the superior and the inferior parietal lobules, which is divided by the intra or the interparietal sulcus. And then in the temporal region, you can see the superior, middle, and the inferior temporal gyri, which is divided by the superior and the middle, or the inferior temporal sulcus. Now, you can see a line dividing the temporal and the frontal parietal zones, and that line is known as the lateral or the sylvian sulcus, and it's important because it divides the cerebrum. Then we move on to the medial surface of the cerebrum here you can see the corpus callosum which i told you is the connecting bond above the corpus callosum also known as the colossal gyrus is the singular singulum or the singular singuli gyrus sorry which is which has its own sulcus called the singuli circus sulcus beneath the uncus you can see the hippocampal gyrus also known as the parahippocampal gyrus and below that is the occipitotemporalis which is medial and lateral and divided by the occipital temporal sulcus. You can see on the right side, there is the precuneus and the cuneus. These are important regions. They are on the occipital region and the medial surface. Okay, and about the rectus gyrus, it is on the inferior, like beneath the brain. It's right next to, in between the... Um, olfactory bulbs so that would be the rectus gyrus and that is it if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos take care guys